Hey, what is up guys? Complex Gaming here and welcome to a brand new tutorial video. Now, as you can see from the thumbnail and the title, we're going to be showing you how to start breeding. Now, this video is not for people who are advanced into breeding. This is more a starter's guide. There will be another advanced one coming out later. So, first of all, with your breeding, what you're going to want is you're going to want a ranch block. Now, to craft a ranch block, you're going to want a flower pot, a PC, and a piston. So, how to obtain these items is pretty simple. For a flower pot, you're going to need free brick. You can obtain brick by simply uh, getting a shovel and breaking clay. As you can see, you get four clay. Each clay will transfer into one brick. So, you'll get four brick out of this. So just breaking one clay block will have enough for a flower pot. To craft a PC, you're going to want six of these aluminum plates, a redstone lamp, a single piece of redstone, and a glass pane. Now, these, red, uh, these aluminum plates are obtained by mining bauxite. So what we're going to want is you're going to get your pickaxe, and you're going to find these just normally in the mine. So your bauxite, you break it. And then you're going to go ahead and smelt it. So we've gone ahead and smelted our bauxite. And we have an aluminum ingot. Now from here what we're going to do is we're going to put it on our anvil. Now to get an anvil we're going to go here. And I'm going to show you. You need three, two and three to create the anvil. Simply just put it into the crafting table. Uh, and so in total you need eight iron ingots to create these. So... Once you have got your anvil and you've placed your aluminum block, center it, go away. You, what you're going to want is you're going to create a hammer. Now, hammers are simply obtainable just with a normal recipe like so. Simply go into your crafting table like you would do. And I believe you do this. So you will need five ingots or ores or whatever you have that you're using. And then two sticks like a normal thing you'll create a diamond hammer so once you have your hammer you have your anvil and you've put your aluminium onto it simply what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and smash it all right so we're here and um, we're just gonna simply smash it as you can see you should hear noises for each stage and boom when it's flat it will go into your inventory and you have one aluminium plate. so you'll need six box sites uh, to create six aluminium ores and then you're going to need to smash it six times to get six aluminium plates. Now, some of you might not be able to know how to make a redstone lamp. It's pretty simple. It's not too complicated. So if we go over here, you'll need one glowstone and four redstone. So it's really simple. It's not a tough recipe to get. So now we have a flower pot. We have a PC and we don't have a piston. So to get a piston, it's really simple. It's a normal Minecraft recipe. This is the recipe. You'll need three wooden planks, four cobblestone, one iron ingot, and one redstone. So once you've done this, you can go ahead and you can craft a ranch block. Now, if we go over to here, I've placed one down. Now, this is what a ranch looks like. As you can see, there are no Pokemon in the ranch, blah, blah, blah. And we have this grid outlined. So currently, there is... Four diagonal from here on one side and four diagonal going off on the other side with this block being the center. So within this area, this is a normal ranch. Now from here, you're going to have, this will be your environment. So our environment is from here to over here, as you can see, which is, it's all highlighted, the environment. So. Uh, I'm going to be demonstrating how to start your breeding with a Ditto and an Umbreon. So we're going to place them on. But as you can see, Umbreon and Ditto will breed. The Umbreon is a female. Therefore, the female is always the type of species you will get. So for example, if we remove these and I placed a Ditto and a female Rapidash, then we would get a Ponyta. This could be male or female. Yeah, those it will always be the female who takes over the species. So in your environment, these blocks also represent how quickly your breeding will take. So 
We'll have a link to the environments of the breeding and ranch blocks areas in the description and I might and I'll put it on the screen now so uh, you'll be able to see so you can see that coal should represent value of three per block so per block so this has a breeding value of three and the never brick has a value of two so this means that our breeding is going to be pretty fast it's not going to be the fastest being as four as the max value you can have per block but it will be decently fast so simply all you'll want is your male and your female although ditto isn't either but ditto breeds with any pokemon and you're going to go ahead and wait these can like i said take a certain amount of time but depending on your environment and how you've set it up it can speed up so we'll go over that in the advance but this is the basics of how to breed also some of you when playing our server might have obtained golden hourglasses or silver hourglasses now a silver hourglass will up the uh, up the speed so you'll have five stages in breeding so once five stages are completed you will have an egg so a silver hourglass will increase each poke will increase one pokemon by one breeding level so silver hourglasses will increase attractiveness and breeding levels to increase the stage by one the five out of the five stages now a golden hourglass will increase both by one every time now with your environment as you can see this doesn't work but that is because this is a soul these two blocks represent dark only now we need dark and normal to sort a ditto right so now we've gone ahead and we've placed wool and cake so the cake will have a value of three and the wool has a value of two so if we right click ditto they now have the right environment and they will both start to breed now this one's in a earlier step is a much later stage than this being as we use the hourglasses so the silver hourglass increases the stage by one to the, a single pokemon but if we use the golden hourglass it increases both so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and silver hourglass these and then we're going to go ahead and silver hourglass ditto as you can see we now have an egg which we can claim and you can go ahead and run for your egg to hatch now to make your egg hatch you just want to travel a bunch of steps so every couple of steps every couple hundred of steps you'll be notified of when your egg is about to hatch and the stages it takes once your egg has hatched that is simply all there is to it now you'll have your egg so for example when this egg hatches we will have an EV. now you can do what you want with this EV. it may have better ivs it may have worse ivs now ivs are going to be covered in the next advanced video of breeding now this is all there is to breeding the simple way and this is how you obtain the eggs for it now an advanced guide on how ivs work how to get 100 percent ivs and how to maximize breeding and how it all works in a more detailed way will be coming out soon and i hope to see you there so peace out goodbye